And meteorologist Sarah Gannon joins us in the studio with a look at your weather authority forecast. And Sarah, we kind of have another quiet day today, which I'm not complaining, but... <laughs> That's right. Uh, we're sticking kind of with this quieter weather pattern here for the next couple of days, but things could become a bit more active as we head towards the latter half of the work week, but still several uncertainties uh, when it comes to that potential for some snow later this week as well. Here's a look back at earlier today. We did see a little bit of some fog early, early this morning from our as we checked out as we are looking at from our Louis Donato camera right here at Signal Hill looking to the south there. Otherwise staying very cloudy throughout the region as well. Temperatures still above average or average high this time of the year is about uh, 24 degrees in Rochester. So just a couple degrees above average for today in the Med City at 26 degrees. Austin topping off at 30 degrees, 27 in Owatonna and Albert Lee in Mason City at 29 degrees. Decorah at 27 and Rushford reaching a high of 31 degrees today. So overall not bad. Still a little gloomy though with all those clouds right now in Rochester sitting at 25 degrees under cloudy skies. Winds are out of the west southwest around six miles per hour that feel like temperature back down into the upper teens. So overall staying pretty quiet today live. This is a live look at our Louis Donato camera from Assisi Heights checking out downtown Rochester. We can finally see uh, downtown. It was a little foggier earlier this morning, but otherwise it's been a quiet day around the region. Temperatures currently sitting into the mid 20s across the region. Winona at 23, Cresco, Iowa at 25, Mason City at 28 degrees, Osage, Iowa at 26 degrees. So overall not bad in terms of temperatures, but wind chills, of course, still making sure that we have those hats and mittens as we head out the door. But most folks feeling a pretty close to air temperature around the region. We are seeing some light winds this evening, but overall things are staying quiet with high pressure in control. The upper Midwest looking at uh, mainly cloudy skies here in the region all across the state of Minnesota back over into Wisconsin as well. So overall not much to complain about some nice uh, quiet conditions thanks to high pressure and control of the region. So as we check ahead with future cast, we are looking to see clouds sticking with us for the rest of tonight. We may have to watch out for uh, maybe some fog to develop here later on to tonight. Uh, lasting into tomorrow morning. So that could create um, some slow work and driving conditions for your morning commute tomorrow as folks head back to work. But otherwise, we're looking to see clouds throughout the rest of the day. Maybe a couple peaks of some sunshine trying to break through a few clouds uh, later on in the day. But otherwise, as we head into Tuesday, kind of a repeat performance. Temperatures staying very similar into about the uh, mid and upper 20s and then also sticking with those cloudy skies. But Tuesday looking to be the day more likely see a few breaks in those clouds and that sunshine uh, trying to peek through. But otherwise, looking to just, just stay uh, very quiet here uh, for the next couple of days. Right tonight, we will see those temperatures back into the upper 20s, looking at mainly cloudy skies. We will have to watch out for some areas of patchy fog to develop for the overnight hours as well. So again, if you're doing any late night driving, uh, prepare for maybe to add a little extra time uh, to that drive this evening. As we check out your town forecast all around the area for tomorrow, then looking at more clouds than sunshine in the region. We'll see temperatures into the lower 30s. Plainview 31 degrees. Same for Austin. Albert Lee at 27 degrees for tomorrow's high. Down to our south and northeastern Iowa. Northwood looking at 28 degrees. Mason City 27. New Hampton, Iowa at 29 degrees. Cresco looking to break 30 degrees for tomorrow. As we check out that extended forecast, things are looking to stay quiet for your Monday and into your Tuesday as well. Now Tuesday night into very early Wednesday morning, maybe looking at a chance for a few snow flurries to fly, maybe a little bit of some light snow, minor accumulation, really uh, looking at little to no accumulation uh, with that. But we're still keeping a close eye on that potential for a uh, couple chances for some snow moving in late Thursday, maybe Friday, Saturday, maybe even into Sunday, but there's still plenty of uncertainties, a uh, low confidence right now in terms of timing, uh, what would actually accumulate or kind of the intensity of that. Mm. Uh, so we're gonna have to watch that here for the next couple of days, but otherwise things we can stay quiet uh, in the next coming days. All right, all right. Well, thank you very much, Sarah. Bet. Next in